and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, I'm gonna be going over the Madden market. Now, prices have taken a weird turn. Now, it's not—it's nothing tremendous, but it seems that the market's starting to inflate just a little bit, and that's probably due to the lack of content. Now, when golden tickets were first being confirmed, and all this stuff was happening, there was hype around them. Free agency promo was still going on. Price was starting to go down quite a bit. People were taking hits. Free agency players were going down. Mahomes, top end quarterbacks, a lot of things were coming down. Now that I guess we got a lack of content, and we have a pretty decent break, because free agency, I believe, is over as far as the promo goes. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's pretty much it at this point. And even if we do get another part, I don't think that'll affect things too much. But for the most part, until we get golden tickets and everything, which we will not be getting info on until Monday, which is tomorrow, until we, and that's not when they're coming out, that's when we're going to be knowing when they'll be coming out. We don't have many things to affect the market. And now with the increase of four ability slots for every player, golden tickets, guys, might not be as valuable as we once thought. Now, don't get me wrong, they're still going to be overpowered. They're gonna be crazy good they don't require a power up they'll be pretty valuable in that sense but the four abilities doesn't stand alone as it did before although they can get abilities from like any archetype i believe or something like that which will still give them value but guys before we get into this video make sure you're down below hit that subscribe button turn that on bell boys come join the family make sure you give this video a big thumbs up as always helps the channel grow so community keep it up now let's head over to the market let's start from the top you know we always like to start from the top now a lot more fun that way starting from the top what has risen here so guys like Joe Thomas, you guys do know these cards are like 290, 300k flat, they're out at 340. Now again, it's, it's a little bit earlier in the day, but it's around 1030 at this point, so things are usually around market average getting up to this point. So things have come up a little bit. So Joe Thomas is one of about like 30 to 40k. Byron Jones is one of about 30 to 40k, because these free agency cards originally were like 310, 320. They went up a little bit. Now is this the time to buy? Obviously not. I don't think there's a time to buy at all. Always buy when there's a market shock. Ultimate Legend Saturdays is a great day to buy. Always buy when new promos drop, but don't buy the new cards, obviously, on new promo days. Like, free agency cards were at the lowest, like, the day after they dropped, people were really pulling them. Some promos, like free agency, though, is a bit different only because people are spamming eggs on the market at that moment. You can get things pretty cheap. But as we keep moving down, guys, like Brady, 350 now, we all know that people... Brady's usually one of the cheaper style quarterbacks. He's really good, but people usually don't value him as one of the best quarterbacks. Clowney was, like, 310, 320. Willie Lanier just came out, so you can't really value him just yet. Although I do know most of these Ultimate Legends, like these guys, Lanier is really not that great. Would have been a little bit lower for the most part. Mean Joe Green was like 320. Now he's looking like he's around 389. Uh, now remember, this isn't filtered out. You could probably find him for a bit cheaper if you filtered it. But not by much. Randall Cunningham is new. I thought he would have been a little bit more expensive, honestly. But he came down quite a bit, I guess because he's not an LTD. Now moving down, guys like Willie Brown, LTD being 645. That's kind of expensive considering Willie Brown's not going to be the most popular LTD. And then as we go on to Mahomes, this is what I want to talk about. Mahomes is like 625, 90. Now he's 680. Now he came, he went back down for a little bit. He was like 570, 600 flat, 620 ish. He kind of went up quite a bit since then. Now it is primarily because people are trying out the new stuff. They ended up liking Mahomes still as the best quarterback. Still rocking with him. But guys, once golden tickets drop and quarterbacks do, once there's 99 quarterbacks to pass Mahomes, he will come down to like 450, 500K, maybe even lower. That's why I'm not buying right now. Like, you have players, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say sell them because the market didn't shift tremendously. The inflation is enough to save your reduction, guys. So pretty much, let's say you had Mean Joe Green for 320 and you kind of want to get rid of him and you didn't want him anymore, which I don't recommend, but let's say you did. Now would be a decent time to sell him only because if you wanted your reduction back. So let's say, like I said, guys that you didn't plan on keeping, good, but don't go ahead and sell your team for those because you're not going to make coins right now. Right now is the time where you'll make your reduction back. So let's say you had Mahomes and you got him for like 620, 610. You're like, I really didn't really want him. I just bought him because he was kind of cheap. And you're like, I want to get rid of him, but I want to lose a 60k reduction. Now would be the time to sell him for 680. You get back exactly what you spent on him. Now would be a time to break even. Because once the market gets shocked again, he won't be that price again. But guys, like, let's say Nitrine Lane, you plan to keep for the year. Now, Nitrine Lane, you could probably make some coins on. He was like 520, 550. If you want to make coins, now would be a great time to make coins on him. Because you can sell him for like 690 right now. Almost, maybe even 700k. You can make some coins on him. But other guys like Lamar, 800k. He was just like 7, 8. He was like, at one point, like 710. You can make a decent amount, but from my opinion, now's a great time to break even. Guys that you bought, you didn't really want, but you bought them. You don't want, you don't want to sell them. Now will be the time because things won't get much higher than this. Things will just start coming down again progressively. So for me, if I want to break even with anyone, now would be the time. Guys like the newer ones, you can't really do that with just yet because Randall Cunningham and these guys, you probably probably the lowest you've seen them yet, anyways. But they should come down even more, especially with things coming out. I think Randall Cunningham was bait in my opinion. So for all you guys who got Cunningham, I think he's amazing, but I think he was bait. There's always bait, like. 
when they drop Steve Young every year, he's always that first mobile quarterback and everyone buys him. A week or two later, Michael Vick comes out or something. That always happens. So I think Randall Cunningham being the first human joystick quarterback was bait. I believe that in the next week or so, we will be getting another human joystick quarterback. Could it be an ultimate legend Vick? Could it be the golden tickets? Because golden ticket Vick assuredly will get, will get human joystick. I'm telling you guys. So pretty much, it's pre I think it's bait for all the next, it's gonna, we're going to get a line of human joystick quarterbacks and running backs pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. And as far as like fullback goes, like Chris McCoy, he is heavily inflated. If you guys got this card, make sure you sell him. Don't get me wrong. He's on my top 10 overpowered players list. He's super insane. If you use him properly, if you use a fullback properly, he could be one of the best cards on your team. But in my opinion, he is not worth over one, a 1 million coin price tag. Highly recommend if you guys have him, you sell him because he's really just not worth that price overall. So all these cards here, guys, none of them really are around to make coins right now, but they have inflated enough to make back coin spend. If you had bought Joe Thomas for like 290, you could maybe make like 15K right now. Or you could just break even if you really don't want them. But again, a lot of these guys are end game, so you really don't have to be selling anything at this point in the game that you want to keep. Moving on to the 96 and 97s, these have come up just a little bit. Like check uh, Chuck Benaric was around like 130, 140. Again, went up just enough to save yourself on reduction. Going down for agency cards, that went up a bit. Like Ryan Anderson and all these guys. These guys were more like 130, 145, 150 ish on a good day, 160. But like you could probably make a decent money. Like these don't have a huge reduction. So honestly, like if you got Robbie Anderson for like 145, 150, you could sell him and make yourself a quick like 20, 30K, depending on what you get him for. A lot of these cards are coming back up. A lot of them are. Eric Dickerson was at like, what was he at before? Let's see. Eric Dickerson was like at 220, 240. Now he's back at around 278. I really don't think now's the time to buy, like I said. I would save your coins right now and just wait for the next big market shock, which I, like I said, with where we're at now, the next big market shock should be the Easter promo and golden tickets. Although, could there be a surprise promo in between? There could be, but from my knowledge, there's only paths of the draft. Now, paths of the draft, I'm a little concerned about how we're doing this because there's a chance that the draft gets pushed back. I don't, I don't know if that'll happen because they're going to like seclude with no fans. But if everything goes as planned, paths of the draft should have been starting within this week, this next, this, within the seven-day period. And we've not gotten any information on that, so it could be pushed back a little bit. Last year, I believe we did get it the last few days of March, which was like paths of the draft for like the late round master, middle round, and early round, which are like players who've been drafted in the past, like Cam Newton, Brady, and those guys. But if that could get pushed back for now, we might not get one pretty soon. But Paths of the Draft did unleash a lot of 99 overall players last year, or even at 98 overalls in the case of this year. So that could set the market back a little bit and kind of drop prices. But until that comes, guys, now is not the time to buy. I recommend you just save your coins and build up your stack just a little bit so you can go on ahead and make sure that you have enough coins for everything coming out. Because think about it, right? If you buy cards now at these prices, let's say you buy Nitrogen Lane for 770K. I mean, no, you buy Nitrogen Lane for what was he going for? Like, let's just say 700k. Let's just make a price. If you buy two of them, him and Mahomes, 700k each. That's 1, 1 million, 1.4 million coins. You wait till the market shock and a new quarterback comes out and stuff. Nitro is really like 500k. Mahomes is like 550. Now that's one point, like almost 1 mil. You save 300k. That's a whole nother player you can get. That's another Byron Jones or something. If you wait right and you play the market right, you will be able to get quite a few extra things for the same value that you would have paid before, which is what this is looking like right now. So, like I said, if there's any card you want to sell, now would probably be the time. Because again, with the way we're, the state of Madden right now where we're at, at this point in the year, things don't go up. Things only come down. So when things do go up, you want to take advantage of that primarily because like I said, you might be getting Dickerson right now for 278, but in, when the next, when I'm telling you guys, a running back with Barry Sanders or some crazy power back that's going to be with human joysticks going to come out pretty soon. Because it's got to be. There's no there's no running backs in the 98 to 99 filter. So there's going to be a new one pretty soon. When that comes out, it will shock down Dickerson and Saquon Barkley quite a bit. So you definitely want to be taking advantage of that for the most part. Now, I don't really want to do anything lower because a lot of the lower pieces are just weird. You can't really value the lower place at this point, the lower pieces, because a lot of those cards, they're either in power-ups so or they're extra expensive. Like, a, let's say, who just came out? Like, Byron Jones, maybe his elite's a little higher, or Randall Cunningham, base legend. Like, things are just going to be a little bit higher than they usually are because of things like that. Things will be lower. You can't really value those. You want to really, really be valuing the higher-end players at this point in the game. But like I said, it's, it's kind of a period of market inflation. Not a ton, but enough. Where you can either make coins or break even i think it's a decent time like i said to sell buying maybe not so much as far as 98s and 99s guys overall what cards are decent buys like i do look willie lanier 346 he's still on the way down right now these are new cards so you can't really value those guys at this point in time you want to wait till they settle out which they're getting close to and as far as everything else these will all start coming down once we start getting more 99s and 99s have to be in the near future i'm telling you guys we only got mahomes is the only base 99 in madden for the most part all these cards can be chemmed up and powered up to 99 but the, the next wave of base 99s, I believe, will be starting in, like, 
Maybe two weeks from now, Ultimate Legends will start having 99s, at least an LTD 99. And I believe Pats of the Draft should introduce some, and Golden Tickets will all be 99. So that'll be 20 99s from Golden Tickets, but that'll be over the span of 10 weeks, more than likely, to a week. So don't bank on that to kill it. It'll be more likely, more than not a promo. But guys, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that on to go, boys. Come join the family. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out all the other vids for the day. I'm out. Peace.